Hello everyone, Wanda, the Foiling Rock Lady here, and today I have my paper sideways, but I'm going to be doing a cross. So it's going to be kind of a between this and this. Ha ha. Anyways, uh, just some inspiration pictures here. So my Easter cross, this is my demo, my mock <laughs> my mock-up anyways I would like you to if you want to trace go ahead and I'm gonna turn sideways too. push pause take a picture take a still and um, capture it you can print it out and resize it for your rock I'll also have this available on our Facebook group Um, the link will be in the description all right So I have already traced onto my rock my cross and I'm going to go ahead and line this with Treasure Gold 3081E and Apple Barrel Jet Black. So I'm going to go ahead and line that. I'm going to use the black first. So that way I can just get a basic outline going. And then I think I'm going to put the leopard print foil on the inner rock there. Or not, the inner cross on the rock. And then we'll paint this, the bigger part of the cross. We'll paint that. I haven't decided what color yet. I'll be deciding that while I'm lining, hoping it'll come to me. I may go with the picture and use turquoise, but not 100% on that yet. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and finish lining both crosses with the black. Okay, so I finished the black and I'm going to go ahead, or I already started on the gold, but I'm going on the inside of the black line, the thin line. See, if I was any kind of thinking person, I would have done the little one first, the inside. <laughs> but no. So I'm going to have to let this dry, and then I will do the inside of the little one. Because I wasn't thinking there. So just go around, finish that, and then also line the inside of your little one. I did make too thick of a line here, but I'm hoping that I can touch it up with the gold. Hello guys, so I have done all the gold lining and it's all dry and it's been a couple of days I had to put off this project, but I am back and I am going to do these this beautiful blutter, blutter, butterfly <laughs> butterfly foil on the small cross on the inside here so I've cut it in sections where I want to make a full foil um, and then I'm going to tape it together um, to make my one piece that way it'll be seamless pretty much going up the small cross but I'm gonna do that second First, I'm going to do this outer cross in this uh, animal print here because I'm sort of following this design, um, not the whole design obviously, but I like this look. Um, so I'm going to use some, uh, just one stripe of paint here in, I think... I think I'm going to stick with the turquoise color. Yeah. 
So I'm going to get the turquoise color and put a stripe of paint there and then the leopard print and then the butterflies in here. So I'm actually going to use this neon blue top notch paint. It's from um, Joann's. I'm trying it out. I've never used it before. So I'm going to just use a bit here and see if I like it or not. That's the great thing about having a plastic mat, yeah? <laughs> you just wipe it off. Makes a great palette. So I'm just going to stay as close to the gold and as straight as I can. And I'm not going to do a thick um, outline like they have. I'm just going to do, you know, a, I don't know, a medium. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go around the whole cross with this color. Okay, guys, I'm back. Let me show you how to make or line up a foil so that it um, works. If I can remember what I did here. Oh, I think it went this way. Yeah. Is it that way? Oh goodness. Okay. <laughs> well, they're all upside down. What's that one? Okay, so you figure out what you want in your pattern. So I'm going to put this in the little cross under there. So this butterfly will be in the center of the cross. Okay, and then I'm looking for blue area, so I'm going to line up this blue area here. I'm going to overlap it just a little bit, but not enough to cut any part of this lower butterfly off. And then the lower part down here, this last section here, I'm just looking to match up the pink color a bit. And maybe have a little of this one butterfly show through there like that and then tape it all together like so and then you've got one big foil that all you have to do is just put on at once make sure you have them together the right way okay so this one here like that, I think. Goes there, there, and there. Yes. Okay. That's ready. So now I'm going to add the glue after I put my gloves on and my mask. PPE, people. Get your personal protective equipment and wear it, please. All right, mask on, gloves on, hello, <laughs> glue out. Okay, today I'm using MAC Art Nail Art Foil Glue and I have poured some off into my dish. And I'm gonna apply it to the cross in the middle. I'm gonna bring my dish up here so I don't drip across my rock. Oop. Now I'm baking my foils. <laughs> See my light going on? <laughs> <laughs> That's my big light. The sensor is being tripped by a little piece of paper I have sitting too close to it. Oh, if you guys saw my desk, I'd be in trouble. Okay. Ooh, that cured my glue just a little bit. Oops. Careful of those lights. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to apply the glue to the whole center of this cross.
and I'm trying to stay off of the gold, off the gold paint. Okay, I'm going to cure this for one cycle, which is 60 to 90 seconds in the 6 watt MacArt Minnie Mouse light. But before I do that, I'm going to give it a little torch, just like you would resin. Can you see the bubbles in that? Okay, we're going to get rid of those. Watch them disappear. See? Goodbye. No more bubbles. Crystal clear. Perfect. All right. Get this to curing. <laughs> Look at the, uh, it's neon paint that I used. It glows in the black light. Pretty cool, huh? Yay. Let's see. Well, this is a paint, but crazy. I guess it has to be activated. Right on. What? Do do. It glow. Oh my gosh, I love neon paint so much. All right, that's the big kid in me. Sorry, you guys. That is a UV LED light that I wrote UV LED on. It looks like a flashlight, but those are LED lights. I mean UV lights, so it's like a black light. It's actually one of those crime scene blood and urine detectors. Mm -hmm. Sorry, it sounds like someone's outside my window. I think it's a bug. <laughs> I hope it's a bug and not a burglar. Okay. I want that right in the middle. Whew. Testing my abilities here. Alright, I have a Q-tip here to smooth out the edges. You can use your silicone tip nail tool right now if you want to to use that to get a nice clean transfer. Somehow, I don't think I did this right, did I? Yeah, I did. I should have cut that. I think we're good. Let's see. Now when you're removing it, you want to go real slow because I'll show you here. See how some didn't transfer right there and it's left on this paper? See that? Okay, we're gonna put that back down and we're gonna use a nail stylus with a ball on it because you don't want a jabby thing. Just push it back down in there with the ball. Perfect. And so you just lift up real slow. This is a temperamental foil, but it can work. You just gotta be patient with it. Just gotta go slowly and make sure that the images are transferred. When you're working with a pattern, this is real important. Let's see how beautiful. Looks gorgeous. Cool thing is, is it's you know a speckled print. So if you miss a few little speckles, see how a few didn't go through, it won't even matter. Not really.
Cool. Okay. Beautiful. Good transfer. Looking more and more like an Easter cross, I think. All right. Now, I'm going to do the leopard print back here. I know it's probably going to be really busy, huh? <laughs> but that's okay. Because... I wouldn't be me if I didn't do it my way. All right, so I'm gonna do this one in sections, like this section here, here, and then probably here because there's just a bit of white there. So I'll just take this one out and start my glue. Get a new brush because I, I cured that one, <laughs> and some more glue. Yeah, that didn't work. Oh no, here we are. Okay. I'm gonna start up here. So a leopard print, or cougar, or whatever you want to call it. I'm going to try to stay off of the blue and the black and the gold. I don't know if that's helpful or not, but sometimes that light is. Catch this little section here and here. Okay, give that a torch and then a cure. Careful not to burn your foil that you've already put down. Okay. Make sure to get the edges again. You can use your stylus, your silicone nail tool, or stylus if you're not jabby with it. Let's see. Oh, nice. Good transfer. Now, if you get a section that didn't transfer well, you can just reapply it and stick it back in there. Oops. And then you can put it where it's not supposed to be. <laughs> That's okay. Cool. 
cool looking. All right, I'm gonna do the next section. And definitely I'll be touching up the glue, or the paint. Probably doing gold around it. I think that would be pretty. So I'm going to do the same thing all the way around the cross with the leopard foil. Okay, done with the leopard skin and I did reline the gold inside the cross and I got rid of the black line that was in there. It wasn't working. So, sorry I forgot to push record. But all I did was do a thick line of gold. And that's Treasure Gold 3081E. So there's that. And now I'm going to get some rhinestones and we're going to bling this baby up. Okay, I got some bling bling out. Got some gold and crystal, sort of. These are actually resin beads or plastic beads. There's some pearls in there. I've got some AB coated beauties in here. These black pearls are so pretty. Half pearls. And I have some AB glass crystals, gorgeous gold back ABs. And these are neat. They're, uh, I don't know what they are called, <laughs> but they are very cool looking. They're not really a traditional uh, rhinestone in that they're domed differently. See that? There's no facets really, it's just one round cut. But it's so pretty. I like it. It's like a bullet tip, but no facets. I wonder if it'll focus. Anyways, I like that. So I was thinking this big one here, right in the center, like so. And then this, can you see that? In the middle of these ones. We're gonna make this very, very blingy. <laughs> Or maybe those there. Yeah, up there's better, huh? Like that. I have these in all these different colors. There's yellow, AB, blue, gold, green, silver, red, pink, purple, magenta, I don't know, blue, black, lime. Pretty. All right, sorry. Where's that so far? Oh boy. Can't see. Let me turn the flash on and see if it'll show where they're sitting. Now what should I do? Ah, uh, I think in the tips here. 
some little bitty ones. I have butterfly ones. <laughs> Is it going to get gaudy? Hmm. Okay, no butterflies. No, no. No, no, no. What I'm thinking... Sorry about the notification. I don't know how to turn them off without messing up the video. Okay, so I got these nail gems. They actually are curved and they go on nails. But this gem is just kind of too plain. So I'm going to put this one in the middle of it. Like so. And then I found these uh, marquee gems here. Okay, I went ahead and picked out some rhinestone because that was taking forever. <laughs> Anyways, I found some um, blue marquee rhinestone gems here and some smaller ABs. So I did those on the points and then an even smaller one here in the middle. Moved this guy to here and put this one on the edge. I put that one in the middle. That looks so good with that one on top. And I'll turn the light off so you can see without the flash. All right, so that's my idea for Easter cross. Um, if you guys liked what you saw here today, go ahead and give us a subscribe and a thumbs up, a like, and tell all your friends, and um, hit that bell, and YouTube will notify you when I am making or uploading more content, and that way you'll know, you'll be notified. Um, also, I will snap a couple of pictures of this after it's resin. I haven't set the stones, because I like to put the resin on and then set the stones in it, um, but that takes a little bit more time than I have today, so... I will show you the end result and you can do your cross however you want with your rhinestones. This is just an idea of what you can do with foil, paint, and rhinestones. Enjoy. See you soon. Okay, tacking back in real quick. Here is the finished version. I wanted to tell you that I used the Beatles Top Coat Top Gel and covered the entire cross and then set my stones in it and they are set in there and this is all dry so it kind of looks cool on the uh, Santorini with no resin on it and this is totally sealed so and these are like locked in for life anyways I think if you were to put this in a nice uh, holder a uh, rock holder or a frame or something like that it would just be gorgeous anyways I'm going to run and grab some pictures of it under the LED lights in the kitchen so you can see all the sparkly goodness and I'll wrap up here thank you again